Today we're going to talk about Brubacoy and whether he's going to get a waiver, should get a waiver, how he'd get a waiver, and all that's coming up after the bumper. What do you mean oh. you don't subscribe to my son's YouTube channel? Mama, no! Just snap the damn ball, RJ. What's up, kid folks? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step milk. Consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. It's always OU related, college football related, sports related. We have a good time. And today, we're going to talk about new Texas wide receiver, Brew McCoy. For those of you that live under the rock that is the 24 hours news cycle and got just missed this in the wash, five star. Wide receiver, Brew McCoy, decided he wanted to transfer from USC three weeks after signing a national letter of intent to go to USC. And now that he is a Texas Longhorn, having signed his financial aid agreement, there is some wonderment, I don't even think that's a word, about whether or not he should be eligible to play in 2019 because he has to go through the waiver request process. Now, for those of you that want to get on your high horse and say, this kid signed a national letter of intent, in January, and now he wants to transfer in January, I don't like it. Tell it to your college football coach, all right? Because if Lincoln Riley got up to the podium and said, hey man, we signed Roy Manning, we signed Brian Odom, and we signed Alex Grinch, but since we're taking them from rival Division I institutions, they got to sit out a year, so you know what? Our defense will be ready to go a year from now. You would be outside your mind. You would want to molly wop Lincoln Riley with that microphone up there, and you'd be right to think that. Don't go molly wop Lincoln Riley. That's not what I'm saying. I am saying that you're thinking bass backwards about Brew McCoy and all of these kids that are transferring. I believe that all kids should be able to transfer freely without restriction. No waiver request, no nothing. I want Brew McCoy to end up at Texas and play in 2019 because it's what's right. Because Dana Ogerson got to leave West Virginia. Manny Diaz got to be the head coach at two different schools in the same month. And we've seen position coaches and coordinators make the moves all over town, all over the nation. Clay Elton still doesn't have an offense coordinator, and that is the reason for which he lost Brew McCoy. Brew McCoy was going to thrive in Cliff Kingsbury's offense. All you got to do is look at Antoine Wesley last year to see what that kid might have been capable of catching passes from his buddy, JT Daniels. But that blew up because Lynn Swan had this wrong from jump, and I got another video where I just kind of dig in that a little bit more. But the point here is Brew McCoy doesn't even know who his offense coordinator is, and they're already starting winter conditioning, and they got to get ready for spring ball. That ain't a situation anybody wants to be in, let alone a five-star wide receiver who is destined for the NFL. You should think of five stars next to a guy as a guy being projected to go in the first round of the NFL draft three years from the day he signs his national letter of intent. That's how much folks who get paid to evaluate high school football players think about these kids. Spencer Rattler fits in that boat, Jane Hazelwood, Theo Weiss, Trajan Bridges, and of course, Brew McCoy. If Brew McCoy was eligible, he would fit right in there. Colin Johnson on one side, Brew McCoy on another, Devin DuVernay in the middle. Be great and awesome. But since he's got to go through the waiver request system, <laughs> he probably going to get denied. Because I looked at the different waivers that are out there from hardships for family to graduation to all of the non-exempt sports that perhaps, for instance, if they got rid of your football player, like if they got rid of your football team, you could transfer and be eligible immediately because they got rid of your team. But family hardship waiver is usually the way that most people try to finagle this. And while you could argue that Cliff Kingsbury leaving the offensive coordinator position to become the head coach of the Arizona Cardinals directly affected your familial life, personal life, and made your family ill if you're Brew McCoy, I think the NCAA would look at that waiver request and do exactly what I'm about to do right now, which is <laughs> deny because that's just it, man. You don't really have a case for a hardship here. You just have a circumstance for which you want to get out of. You want a situation you want to leave. So leave. Go. But I think that the waiver request process is stupid, ridiculous in general. I think that Justin Fields should be able to play at Ohio State right away without the waiver request. I understand that he's got a better case because he was called a racial slur by a member of the Georgia baseball team who is no longer on the baseball team. And Justin Fields just has to come over it because I made a video on this very channel about being called a racial slur and how much that affects me. It's not as simple as saying, hey man, just shake it off. Don't leave because one dude is a butthole. Don't leave because one dude is awful. 
leave because of whatever. First of all, you only have that sentiment, I think, if we're talking about your skin color or you're just mean. Most people aren't mean. Most of the people that watch this channel completely understand when RJ broke down in tears talking about being called that slur and folks like Stadium Memories on Twitter and folks pulled out of the woodwork to tell me what I mean to them and what this channel means to them, that's tremendously helpful to me. And no, I wasn't going to change teams. But Justin Fields also is backing up Justin, uh, Jake Fromm, and he wasn't going to be the dude because Jake Fromm's turned out to be one of the better college football quarterbacks in America, and he's run off not one but two great quarterbacks in Jacob Eason now and Justin Fields. But also, if you're Justin Fields, you should just be able to play. Same thing with Tate Martell in Miami. Same thing with Austin Kendall at West Virginia. And I get the grad transfer thing is a bit different. But my point here is the story and narrative around what folks think these kids ought to be doing with their lives as opposed to going, no, nah, head coaches do this every day and they make hundreds of thousands of dollars and millions of dollars in some cases, all right? Again, to the Alex Grinch example, making $800,000 as a co-defense coordinator at Ohio State, comes defense coordinator at Oklahoma is going to be making a million plus. Oh, yeah, we got to sit him out a year. No. Same thing with Jalen Hurts, who is grad transferring, but quite frankly is transferring because he's not the number one quarterback on the depth chart. Doesn't make him a bad quarterback. He's actually a pretty amazing quarterback. Just means he wasn't going to start at Bama. And quarterbacks want to go where they're going to play. Same thing with coaches and coordinators. They want the money. They want the prestige. Same thing with any kid that wants to transfer. So take your transfer argument about sitting out a year and going through the waiver and your national letter of intent contract and shove it. Or, or take the money that you're telling me that the scholarship is worth cash it out of the ATM, hand it to the kid. Because that would do them a whole heck of a lot more good than that college diploma. You're not getting a college diploma because you have a job in mind you want to get. You're getting a college diploma because somebody told you that you have to be able to show this piece of paper to get the job. In football, that ain't the case, bro. In any professional sport, you don't need a diploma to show that you're good. We'll figure that out in a different means and fashion. I got a degree to prevent me from being the dude up against this glass ceiling that keeps me from the job I want. My dad is victim to this, and I know a lot of other folks who watch this channel are. You know you're smarter than the person above you. You know you have more experience. You know you've been doing this better than anybody else around for a very long time, but the person who has the job that you deserve has a college degree. And now insurance and, and human resources get to say, now this guy's got a diploma. Doesn't matter what diploma's in, just that he has one. That's why you get a degree. The rest of us who didn't play college football or any other professional sport, yeah, we probably needed to get a diploma or we need to go to school to get certified for another trade. But not Brew McCoy, not Justin Fields, not any player that is planning and destined to play professional sports. All right, that's it for me. Doses. <laughs>